Well, welcome back and a very special welcome to those who may not be uh, members or partners of our church, but you're joining, joining us uh, this Sunday morning. Special welcome to those with faith and those without faith. And we do pray that if you do not have faith, that simply by listening and sharing in our service this morning, that you may come into contact with the God of love who loves you, the God who created this world and the God who wants to speak to you. Well, we've just been singing, Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. What a wonderful hymn that is. Turn your eyes upon Jesus, look full in his wonderful face. And the things of earth, all things of earth, including COVID-19, the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Now, some of our viewers may ask, but who is Jesus? The Jesus that we've been singing about. The Jesus who we've worshipped and celebrated over the past a uh, few weeks over the, the Christmas period, the birth of Jesus. But who is Jesus today? Well, he is the only begotten Son of God. He's the one who was born of the Virgin Mary. He was without sin. He came into the world to save the world. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried and entombed. But he rose again on the third day. He proved himself alive to his disciples over a period of 40 days, showing them that he was truly the Son of God. He ascended into heaven and now sits at the right hand of God the Father, interceding for every one of us, even during this COVID crisis. He sent the Holy Spirit to the church, the Spirit that fills us with, with love and grace and power, so that we, the church, might be the living witnesses of this Jesus who we've been asking you to turn your eyes upon him and to gaze upon him. The Bible says this about Jesus, Colossians 1 uh, verses 15 to 18. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on, on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. This is the Jesus that we've been singing about. This is the Jesus whom we worship. This is the Jesus, the name by which we bring all our prayers and our requests to God. And so this morning I invite every one of us to turn our eyes upon him. In this world of lockdown, turn your eyes upon him. In this world of COVID-19, turn your eyes upon him. In this world of pre-vaccination, vaccination, second vaccination and post-vaccination, turn your eyes upon him. In this world of loss, bereavement, grief, turn your eyes upon him. And as you gaze upon his love, upon his mercy, upon his grace, the things of earth will grow strangely dim, for he is our saviour. Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. And so Jesus is still the saviour. He's still our friend. He's still the one who brings us to the Father. He's still the one who sends his Holy Spirit. He is so wonderful, is our Jesus. You know, there are facts around the COVID and they are very, very real. And as I prepared this message, it was announced that over the last 24 hours, 1,560 people died in that 24-hour period. COVID-19 is deadly. It's undeniable. It's a fact. But there are things that are greater than facts, you know. The thing that is greater than facts that I want to share with you this morning is truth. Truth is greater than a fact. The fact is, COVID is here. The truth is that Jesus will never leave us and never forsake us even in lockdown. Now there are three primary commentaries surrounding COVID-19 or the COVID-19 virus. These commentaries are the facts, the fantasies and thirdly there is truth. There are facts, there are fantasies, there is truth. The facts are given to us every day from the scientists presented to us uh, by the government, by news agencies, by doctors and by nurses. And the facts of COVID-19 are also sadly presented to us 
by those families that have had to fight through the suffering of the Covid virus. The fantasies are presented to us by the conspiracy theorists, those who say that there is no Covid-19, the anti-vaccine lobby who say don't take the vaccine it will make you worse rather than better. And the sad thing about the fantasies is they're not really acknowledging what they're able to see on the news. They're not able to hear the testimonies of those families who have suffered, maybe even suffered loss. They're not able to hear the testimony of the doctors and the nurses who are working so hard on our behalf. There are facts, there are fantasies, and there is the truth. No matter how hard COVID may be hitting the world, no matter how hard COVID may be hitting you and me, the fact is that God is still God that Jesus is still the same yesterday, today and forever. And the truth is that God loves us all. John 3 verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. The truth is that God has promised he would never leave us, he would never forsake us. The truth is that even when hospitals reach their capacity, God's love for us is boundless and unending. We used to sing many, many years ago, and I'm not going to sing it to you, but I will quote it, this, this wonderful song, little song about the love of Jesus. It goes like this, Jesus' love is so wonderful. Jesus' love is so wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. It's so high, you can't get over it. It's so low, you can't get under it. It's so wide, you can't get round it. Oh, wonderful love. And the truth is, no matter what the facts say, there is a God and a Saviour who loves us. So my plea to you during this lockdown time, do not be in despair, but turn your eyes upon Jesus and look full in his wonderful face. So the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. You know, even if we're by ourselves, we're never alone if we invite Jesus into our heart. We're never alone because God is with us. So during this time, could I urge you to rest in his love, believe in his word and in his promises and use this time of lockdown constructively. One of the worship team members suggested that the worship team might use this time when we're not doing live streaming to pause and to pray. To pause and to consider that God is for you, he is not against you. To pray, to pray that this vaccine would be uh, successful. To pray that this Covid virus would be defeated. To pray that you would know more of God's love and of God's grace, and of God's care, and God's plans and purposes for you. Pause and pray. I'd like to add another letter uh, to this alliteration, and it's the word prepare. Use this time to prepare, to prepare yourself for all that God has got planned for you, and for how God wants to use you once we're free to gather together again, and to move around uh, in our town and in this uh, world uh, with freedom. Prepare to be used by God because God is the same. Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. He loves you. He has plans for you and he desires to use you. That's why he sent the Holy Spirit that you might be a witness unto him. So God bless you. God keep you and keep your eyes turned upon Jesus. We're going to sing another great hymn uh, this morning. It's a new uh, version and it's what a friend we have in Jesus. You see he is with us now. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. He's our best friend. Turn your eyes upon him. Speak to him and let him speak to you. God bless. <laughs>